TV Money and Fun. Kirk the Stampede. Oh, God. <laughs> Citizens of Super Earth, this is Kirk the Stampede here on the Terminated Front with a fresh cadet. What's your experience been like so far, son? Don't believe the pro propaganda. We're only after the bugs for the oil. It's only about the oil. I swear to God. <laughs> And remember, kids, it's not friendly fire if they're a heretic. This has been a message from the Ministry of Truth. Oh, friendly fire is it, or so they say. But when the bullets start to stray, we laugh and shout, hey, watch out, you fuck. For in the end, it's all in the hell diver's way. All right, well, here we are to talk about friendly fire. It's hilarious. It's annoying. It's fun. But we can't avoid it. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you die so much that uh, you can't finish your mission. How am I personally qualified enough to talk about friendly fire? Well, you know, I killed enough of my friends in Helldivers too that I feel that uh, I can at least tell you what not to do. So we'll talk about Guns, grenades, hell bombs, and stratagems, as well as how to reinforce without killing your friends. Most of it comes down to communication, some a little trigger discipline. In the guns and stratagems categories, obviously there's a few that uh, are big offenders, and there's some that aren't even something that you have to worry about. So first we're gonna start it with Chaos of combat, their aims overblown With a slip of the finger, a misfire Like support weapons Machine gun, stalwart, anti-material rifle, expendable anti-tank, recoilless rifle These are all going to come down to trigger discipline If you have a person in front of you, stop shooting Wait for them to get out of the way Yell, hey, I got your back, keep running Something like that Flamethrower is a little different. You can catch the ground on fire, catch your buddies on fire, catch yourself on fire, and if you do not stim in time, you're, you're cooked. Auto cannon. This can ricochet off of armored enemies and kill your friends, but if that happens, it's not necessarily your fault and more kind of of a hilarious situation. Railgun. You're in more danger of killing yourself with this than you are uh, somebody else. Um, it just comes down to trigger discipline at that point. The spear, same thing. You can only lock on to bigger enemies. And as long as you tell your, your teammates to get out of there, you'll be fine. Moving on to some of the orbital strikes. Gatling Barrage is going to come down to just... And in, in some of these also, there's a, a certain level of... If you see a red beam on the ground, run away. And it comes... It's Sometimes it's that simple. Some people you can't help. But as a teammate, trying to not kill your team, Gatling Barrage is going to be a small spread. And so it's, it's not one of the really big offenders as far as friendly fire airburst strike is a little different because it does come down multiple times sometimes people think that first one if they haven't seen it is the only one but it's still not one of the worst ones now the 120 millimeter and 380 are probably the biggest offenders in the orbital category this one's going to definitely come down to communication. Hey, I am throwing a 120. Or hey, I am throwing a 380. Get out of that area. And the cool thing is, is that these will stay, the beam will stay down uh, through the duration of the barrage. And it'll tell you, you know, it's got six seconds left or whatever. So definitely yell if you're going to throw one of these down. And on top of that, these are barrages like preemptive barrages. So this isn't something you want to throw down at your feet when you and your team are trying to fight off a horde of bugs or robots. 
this is something you want to throw into uh, a big breach right when it comes down if everyone's far enough away or into an automaton fortification like in the video right here or into a large bug nest before you guys go in like soften it up see if it'll hit something because it's random walking barrage this one's just call it out it walks in one direction um for the most part i don't actually see this one used in high tier play much but orbital laser this is one of the ones that's kind of like if you get killed by a teammate's orbital laser it's kind of your fault um it tracks enemies and so it will go to where <clears throat> something is to kill it and if your teammate is in between that that laser and an enemy there's nothing you can do about it as a person that threw it down now the best as far as quote um, air quote best as far as friendly fire goes is the orbital rail can strike i've never seen somebody die to an orbital rail can strike the only thing i can think of is if you hit a tank with it and a teammate jumps on the tank before it blows up and dies from that it's going to seek out the highest tier enemy in the vicinity and one shot it'll one shot anything other than a bile titan i think it takes two two rail cannons to uh, kill a bile titan but yeah don't have to worry about friendly fire really with that if one of your teammates dies to it, it's their own fault. So now looking at the hangar, Eagles is a little different. These are probably the worst for friendly fire. And what I'll do is I'll pull up paint, good old fashioned paint. So the Eagle strafing run is probably one of my favorite stratagems. And how this works is if I'm standing here facing this direction, and I throw the stratagem here, the Eagle airstrike is going to go straight how I'm looking. So no angle on this. It's going to go the direction you were looking when you threw it. So if I'm looking this direction and I throw the airstrike this way, it's going to go this way. So keep that in mind. If you have a teammate in front of you, don't throw it in their direction. Now, if you have a teammate that's here running this way, being chased by a bunch of stuff, you can throw it here or look this direction and throw it here to get that strafe to go through the enemy line and take them out. And it's fairly narrow off the throw. So you don't have to worry about your teammate getting out of there. Some of the other eagle stratagems are not the same. Jesus, this turned into an absolute mess. But you get what I'm saying. Now, the eagle airstrike. This is probably one of the best stratagems. You can use this on big clusters of small enemies. You can use it to soften up some bigger enemies, break some armor, things like that. It's a little bit tighter of a 90 degree spread. You can see it's not super wide like some other stratagems that we'll talk about in a second. But it does a lot of damage. If, if a teammate gets caught in this, they're definitely going to die. This one operates a little differently than the strafing run. This is going to be on a 90 degree angle. So if I'm standing here and I throw the stratagem here, this is going to go in this direction 90 degree to where I threw it or the opposite direction now that if someone else knows tell me in the comment section uh, but from what I can tell it's random on which direction it goes now the thing is if I have a teammate anywhere in this area I do not want to throw the stratagem because these eagles come out quick so this is one where you really want to decide, okay, if I've got a teammate next to me and I throw it here or over here or behind me or whatever, obviously they're going to be fine. But if I have a teammate in this area, that's the kill zone. They're going to die. Don't throw it there. Wait. Tell them, hey, I got an eagle. I'm going to throw it. Get out of there. Let them run and say they're running this way. Now you can throw it here 
and get that and then and this will go 90 degree this is the actual ball of the stratagem so when it hits the ground here's the ball of the stratagem if i throw it from here to there the strafe is going to go through the ball like that one way or the other hopefully that makes sense Eagle Cluster Bomb is going to be exactly like the Eagle Airstrike. The only difference is the cluster is way more chaotic and a lot wider. So, and I'll give a decent example. Say I'm here and I throw the stratagem here. The Eagle Airstrike, and this isn't going to be to scale, obviously, but rough scale. Eagle Airstrike's about like that. with an oval about like that, right? The cluster is gonna be out all the way up to here. It's just way wider and it's way more chaotic. Now I have seen people survive this in the kill zone of a cluster if they have a bubble shield. So if they have a shield backpack my nice little illustration of a shield backpack um they'll they i've seen people survive but if you have anyone in that kill zone do not throw the stratagem if you see nameplates do not throw the stratagem in their direction they're it's very likely they're going to die unless they are way out best thing to do with the eagle cluster bomb is to use it for preemptive engagement or if you're being chased by a big horde, throwing it behind you and running like, like crazy. And doing that when your teammates are out of the direction that you're going to throw it. Never forget, we are all... Napalm Airstrike is about the same size as the Eagle. The only difference is this will kill a Helldiver on explosion initially. But if they walk through the fire, it'll just light them on fire, like if they got hit with a flamethrower. So, if you kill, if you don't kill someone with this initially, and they walk through it later and burn up and die, that's on them. That's not on you. But treat this just like any other eagle. Don't throw it in the direction if your teammates are there. Smoke strike can't kill your teammates with that. 110 millimeter rocket pods. This is one of my favorite stratagems, and it is very slept on. Extremely slept on. It comes out quick, it has good amount of ammo for eagles, and it has a small spread and high damage. So, I think it takes a few of these to kill a Bile Titan, but they're very versatile. Compared to the Rail Cannon, it has a way lower cooldown. It doesn't do as much damage, um, and it can be blocked by... You know, like mountains. So if your target is here, uh, like these robots right here, but there's mountains on either side, it can be blocked from the side. But you can hit a, and this video is not about 110 millimeter rocket pods, but I got to sing their praises because I love it so much. It's good for killing chargers. You can knock the armor off the side of a charger and finish it off a small arms fire after you hit it. And it comes out quick, so you can throw it. Um, you know, when they stop for that split second. Only way you're going to kill a teammate with one of these is if they are right on top of whatever you hit. 500 kilogram bomb. Everybody's favorite. This one is a team killer. Um, I think it team kills less than it actually should. But I think it would be overpowered if the, if the actual damage radius was as big as the uh, animation. I could be wrong on that, but it feels like it's smaller. It feels like they fixed it a little bit since the game first came out. But 500 kilogram bomb, best rule of thumb, trigger discipline on this one. Use it preemptively. Use it to kill a bile titan, but make sure your friends are not on top of whatever you're going to do because that will blow everyone apart. But I, I love the 500 kg. That's, that's part of my main build. Now these orbital strikes in the bridge section not really anything to worry about with team killing orbital precision strike you can kill your teammate with that but it's kind of like the rocket pods it's really sh small radius high damage though it will kill you if you're standing on top of it so 
If a teammate dies to that, they weren't paying attention. It's probably their fault, but don't throw it on top of them. Gas strike. Nobody really uses this. I think it's underwhelming, so you don't have to worry about it, but this is kind of like the napalm. Uh, if a teammate... I don't know if... I don't think a teammate can die from the initial explosion. But they can die from the gas. And it's kind of like, like I said, it's like the napalm. If they die from it, uh, it's because they walked into it. But still call this out before you do it, just in case. Orbital EMS strike. I don't think this will kill uh, a teammate. Smoke strike. Definitely won't kill. HMG emplacement. If a teammate dies to this, it's because you shot him on purpose. Or you didn't have trigger discipline. Stop shooting if your teammate is between you and your target, and they will not die. Shield generator. This will only kill your teammate if it lands on them, which I know is hilarious, uh, but just call it out. Tesla tower. This is definitely the ultimate offender in this category, partially because the electricity that comes off of is it's extremely unpredictable on how far away you can be from this the radius is decently long it's giving you kind of an idea in the video here but i feel like i feel like sometimes i'll run close to this and turn around and start running away and that's when it'll get me because it's like nah 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 no should have been paying attention but call this out before you place it and if you are using this, place it somewhere where it's not going to be trafficked by your team. So, you're playing a defense mission. Place it somewhere that you know there's going to be a breach or something like that. Out of the way, so the other divers don't have to run past it. And just let it do its thing out there. Definitely call this one out. Anti-personnel minefield. I have been in games where people have raged so hard <laughs> about minefields. And par partially rightfully so, because I've been in some games where everyone is just throwing minefields and you're trying to run away from a giant horde and there's just mines everywhere and you can't get away. They do get placed far enough that if you are careful, you can navigate through the minefield because they are fairly easy to see. If you're looking for them, just call this out. Say, hey, I'm putting a minefield southwest. Something like that. Supply pack, that's only going to kill your team if it lands on them. Grenade launcher, haven't really seen much team killing with this one. Uh, not that many people use it, though. This is just going to come down to trigger discipline. Hey, I got teammates in front of me next to that horde I'm trying to kill. I'm not going to shoot. Laser cannon, honestly, if you kill a teammate with this, you were trying to. It's not super high damage, so if you accidentally clip a clip your teammate with it, they're not going to get one shot, as far as I know. Incendiary mines, same thing as the mines. They, they're they exactly the same for a player. Both of them will one, one shot you. Guard dog. My advice on the guard dog, if you don't want it to kill a teammate, don't use it. Or tell your teammates to stop running in front of you, uh, in between you and enemies. And if you have a teammate that has one of these, don't run in between them and the enemies. This thing will kill them just as often as it will kill you, the people wearing it. So that's the only advice I have on that. Other other than that, it's a pretty good item. Just try that. It, see in the video, the, the rover is hovering on, hovering on the right side of you. It, keep Stay cognizant of that. The rover's on my right side. I'm going to turn slightly left of where I'm trying to fight. Uh... <clears throat> and it won't have to shoot through me to kill the stuff. Ballistic shield. Who am I joking? Now the arc thrower. Probably every Helldiver's worst nightmare. If your team has this, if a teammate of yours has this and they are not paying attention or don't care, you are going to die. Multiple times to this person. They're trying to shoot a charger that you are trying to get away from and they arc through it and kill you. It is frustrating. If you are going to use this weapon, literally all you have to do is do not shoot something that there is a name tag behind or to the left or to the right. And the arc range is pretty long, especially if there's a chain of enemies that it can arc through. 
So, best rule of thumb, if you see name tags, don't shoot. Switch to your 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 support weapon or switch to your, your pistol. Uh, I could go on for 45 minutes about this thing. Shield generator pack, not going to kill your teammate unless you drop it on him. Now, sentries. Now, the machine gun sentry will kill your teammates. Best advice I can give on, and this is kind of overarching for all of the sentries in general. Try to throw them in between where you and your team are going to be fighting the enemies. So, kind of like in this video, you're on the edge of a hill looking down, enemies are coming. Try to throw them in front of where your teammates are going to be shooting. Or, you see this wave of enemies coming right here. And there's a hill to the left where it's at a 90 degree angle from you to the, the enemies. So they could throw them to the left or the right of the, of the enemy horde. And then those turrets are going to be shooting across the enemies instead of through your team. Or if you throw the turrets behind the horde, now they're shooting through the horde back at you. Don't do that. 90 degree angles or in between you and your team. And the benefit of that too is not only are you not going to kill your teammates, but you're also going to give yourself a little bit of a shield. If there's chargers or anything like that, they're going to go after those turrets before they do you. It seems like they aggro emplacements. They're at a higher value uh, for, you know, what do they call it? Threat level or whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind. Gatling sentry will actually like literally saw your teammates in half. Mortar sentry, everyone hates this. Call these out before you place them. This is probably one of the biggest team killing things in the whole game. And if you're a guy that's getting killed by these also, on the same side, a di different side of the same coin, run from the enemies. Don't stand in one spot. If you know your teammate, if if your teammate doesn't call it out, that's one thing. But if your teammate calls out, hey, I'm placing a mortar, I know, okay, I cannot stand in one spot and fight enemies. If they're coming towards me and they're getting close to me, there's a high probability that those enemies are going to start getting shot by the mortar. I need to move my ass. So just keep that in mind. This guard dog, same. Same thing as the laser guard dog. Auto cannon sentry. This one I wouldn't even put out unless you have some high value targets that you got to clean up because this thing will, will blow a hole through your teammates really quick. But same thing with all the other sentries. Put it in a place it smart and you'll be fine and call it out. Rocket sentry, same. And EMS mortar sentry, that's not going to kill your teammates, but it will annoy the hell out of them, which is admittedly funny a little bit. The Patriot, only thing I can say on friendly fire on this isn't the same as everything else trigger discipline things like that if you don't know walking on your teammates will kill them so it won't insta kill them I, it just ticks some damage on them but it's annoying because now i have to stim for no reason and now i'm running out of stims and we're in a hell dive and now i'm at zero stims trying to e extract because you walked over me with a walker just pay attention to where you're walking on that one and where you're shooting like everything else. And moving on to and I get a So here's to hell dive their hot so bold. I use the plaz. Assault rifle, penetrator, liberator concussive, marksman rifle, the diligence, right? The submachine guns and the shotguns. Including uh I'll leave the incendiary out of this, but all of these above the spray and pray. All of these are just going to be come down to trigger discipline. You can kill your teammates. You're not going to like blow them to pieces like everything else. But this is going to mainly come down to trigger discipline. Don't shoot if your teammates in between you and the enemy. Or on the other side of the enemy too. Because you can penetrate or kill the enemy and now your bullets are going through it. You see a name tag next to your crosshair. Just hold your, hold your fire. Incendiary. The reason I would separate this is because you can have one little pellet off of this. If they're to your right or left or whatever, that will catch them on fire, which is annoying uh, to get hit by. The scythe, the scorcher. The scythe won't insta-kill. I don't believe I've been hit with this and didn't die immediately. Just hold your fire. 
Scorcher especially though, because this will one tap your teammates. I'm pretty sure I've killed so many people with this thing, not following my own advice. This one especially for over penetrating a kill the enemy and hitting. So if you see a name tag, hold your fire. Secondaries, same thing. Grenades. Impact grenade is probably the worst offender for killing yourself. Uh, I use impact and I've probably killed myself more than I have friendly fired with anything with an impact grenade from a hunter jumping in front of me right as I'm throwing it. Oh, it makes me <laughs> it makes me freak out every time. <laughs> but yeah, on grenades, same thing. If you see a teammate down there, don't throw a grenade. But impacts especially. They're hard to time. And the radius is really big. And last but not least. For the love of Super Earth and Liberty to remember. We all love these hell bombs that are scattered around the map, especially whenever you've got a Titan chasing you with a bunch of enemies under him. And you can just hit that juicy 58 kill hell bomb with the red skull. Makes you feel like an, an 80s action hero. This one is just simple. Use Q to mark it whenever you see it and tell your teammates, hey, there's a hell bomb right there. I know some people aren't in chat, but just spam that voice chat. But just spam that Q, or if you're on controller, whatever button is for mark, just mark that thing over and over and over and over to let your teammates know, hey, I'm about to shoot that thing. And if they're not running away, sometimes it's worth it <laughs> to get that 60 kills uh, to sacrifice one guy if he's not paying attention, but... Definitely just mark it a bunch before you shoot it because the radius, it's the biggest radius in the game as of now. And it will team kill. It'll kill everybody if you guys are close by. So just try to get everybody away. Try to say, hey, I'm about to shoot this hell bomb. Run away from my ping. Or say, you know, use your compass at the top. Say run southwest, run left, run right. Something like that before you shoot the hell bombs. One thing I forgot to mention as a bonus and another thing after that. First being, the way to stop killing your teammates when you reinforce is to try as hard as you can to aim for the blue light that's on the ground when you're about to land. That gives your teammates the best idea of where you're going to land. Sometimes it won't let you steer, but if it does, try to hit that and you will. Uh, that's your best chance for not killing your teammates when you reinforce. Secondly, since I recorded this video and edited it, the Cutting Edge Battle Pass has come out, or War Bond. So, there's armor in there that gives you 95% arc damage reduction. This will stop you from getting killed uh, by arc weapons if your teammate hits you. But there's also some new weapons in there too. I haven't gotten to play with them a whole lot, but they seem to not be really big. Any bigger than most guns. Uh, for friendly fire so not too many worries the grenade in there's a stun grenade so you're not going to kill your teammates with that so just wanted to throw that out there before i end before i see in the comments someone goes well you didn't cover the cutting edge i know i'm sorry but it's not much not much different but if you enjoyed the video please help me out like and subscribe i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers uh, that's a big goal of mine right now so hopefully you liked this guide I've, I'm already level 50 in the game. I've put a lot of hours in. I'm loving Helldivers. I've got a couple more ideas for some videos on Helldivers that I'm going to do. I think next time is going to be my bug exterminator build that I run where I consistently get the most kills uh, per dive. So look out for that. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Nice 500. Oh. What God move, 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 no, no, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? In the chaos of combat, our spirits never bend. We're hell divers. Damn it! Together till the end!